Uh, six o'clock on Thursday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, I'm going to call the regular meeting to order. First item is set adjust agenda. The agenda looks all full and good. Uh, no, no. <laughs> it's very simple. Add an item number six for the select board to consider appointing Jason Schlesinger as the Harvard Police Officer. And oh, we'll right. give you the background on that. When we get there. Sorry, Jason. Jason. S C H. Yeah, I saw it. S I M G R. Yeah. Is the Hardwick what? Please Police officer. officer. Oh, I'll Got it. at the end of the meeting. All right, anybody have anything else? We're just, we have to swear. It's a yeah. part, part time officer, we have to swear. And then <laughs> uh, so, could I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Danny says. Uh, aye. <laughs> Is there a folder for this uh, meeting? Oh, yeah. Right yeah. Found it. Okay. Great. Uh, next is communication from the audience. The audience is a little thin on the ground tonight. <coughs> Moving along, select board to approve minutes from the regular select board meeting. Which was February the first. Um, I thought that looked good. Mm -hmm. I can motion to approve the February first meeting minutes. First closing of our first buyout, state buyout. That is the 209 School Street property, in East Hardwick. So that's yeah. Those documents are getting sent to our attorney, um, and then we have three more on the state side that are coming in, and we'll follow. Uh, we got the appraisals back on those. They all came back higher than the budgeted amount. So Vermont Emergency Management amended the budget amount. Um, I think it was an extra, another $400,000. So um, it's 1.2 million is the, the amount of that entire, those four properties. But that's money to buy the property and demo. give us money to tear them down. Demo and res and restore the oh, oh. Yeah, restore the, the property to right. uh, whatever lawn or right. Yep. So it's separate from what the both the property owners get. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. They essentially it's ours so to deal with. Them. And our administrative fees are covered in there, and all the closing fees are covered in there. And that's a really good deal. If, if it has to be. Yeah, if, you, if it has to be, yeah, for properties that are flooded. I don't think it's like the best thing, but right. it's the best for the circumstances. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, permit submissions, the stream alteration permit has been submitted for the pedestrian bridge. Um, we, we received comments back and uh, Engineering Ventures, who's the um, civil engineer for SE Group, has satisfied the comments and resubmitted. So those will likely be approved. Um, and then we have a floodplain meeting coming up which that came up today. Um, they want to discuss some of, they want to discuss that permit. So that's in the process of all being, the Coast Guard, the permit for Coast Guard got sent, um, and that's good, but uh, the floodplain folks, and the, they want to review some stuff, which is new, but that shouldn't be a problem. Not any of that stuff. Right. But it's that's the uh, a long process. This is this is becoming a long process. But we should have some bridge documents for bid bid documents for the bridge um, next month. March. March next month. So the the for the goal is to go out to bid for the federal government to review. USDA needs to review them, and state SHPO needs to review them. So hopefully we'll be able to put this out to bid by mid to late March. That's the goal. Um, so still hoping to complete construction this year. Oh yeah, we have to. 
that. Yeah. So potentially, once we've gone to bid, then sometime in the summer, the old bridge will be taken out, and then um, in the fall, the new bridge will be. Yeah, this is it's all doable if we get a a willing contractor. Right. And solid bids. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have been approved uh, with a minor tweak for the MTAP, which is the Municipal oh. Technical Assistance Program, for $75,000 for an engineer and architecture study for the Cape Creamery Road property. Wow, that's yes. great. Yes. Um, they're just asking for a little bit of tweaking of the um, application, uh, which NBDA is helping with that helping us with that. So that's good news. Um, so that ultimately will give us a design of that property. And is that in combination with the work that's being done already for the fire department as well? That is the, that, that, is, that. that is that. But we're wrapping Creamery Road into that. <coughs> we're going to move no, Creamery yes. Road. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. But we're, we want to move the fire department right. to Creamery Road. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's going to kind of encompass that whole campus type. The, Complex, campus, multiple buildings, one building, fire truck rescue, depending on what they want to do. Public works. Public works, but fire department too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the main focus is moving the fire department. Yeah. That's what's getting us the funding to be able to do that. But that triggers everything else because yeah. we can't just plop a fire department up there the Correct. way it is now. Yeah. Correct. Um, and then the last thing. Uh, the 21st at 8 a.m., the, the children's librarian and the Hazen librarian is looking for town officials, select board. They've asked me to be up there at 8 o'clock for a talk with some kids about the government process. So I'm just inviting you. Also, one, one, one or more is fine, um, or none, whatever you guys want to do. More than two? No more than two. Yes. Then we don't have to warn it. Yeah. We, 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 we good catch. Good catch. We wouldn't have to warn it if we weren't conducting any business, town right. business. Right. Right. And I, th I Catherine think Catherine Sims is going to be there. Um, I think Jane Kitchell might be there just to yeah. talk to. It. Maybe. I was talking about that's the, what went. the importance of of local government and town yeah. meeting and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. I'm working this one out. Okay. Yes. I'm working too, but I'm going. <laughs> it's Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. So. At when? At 8 a.m. First thing in the morning. Oh, I could probably go. When they're wide awake. I can't. <laughs> Ready to learn. Yeah. I can't. That's right at that age, they aren't so much. I, I was go. like, yeah, why am I awake? <laughs> Doing whiskey. I can go. You can go too? Sure. All right. Cool. She's up that time of day. Nice. <laughs> I'm up. I can I'm give up. anybody a ride up the hill too. Okay. I'll even pick you up at your house. <laughs> As opposed to having to come down to and then, street side. 21st yeah. to 8 a.m. And then um, I'll, the last thing, I had, I've been having weekly calls with FEMA. This week's call was frustrating, but we are getting them the, the detailed information that they need when they request it. But we have to go back out and measure the G we have to GPS each end of the washouts now, which I just found out about today. More than all of them. More than three. Every one that's over two hundred feet. Over two hundred. Was over two hundred. Yeah, we gave them the length, the width, the depth, and the of of the each washout, yeah, the which yardage, is what they wanted, right? And now they want GPS coordinates. Mm. So, yeah. Not to ask it. Exhausting question, but so does the town get anything like a buyout for the fire department or anything? Um, Do we get anything from I don't think, well, well, we're not there yet. Oh, okay. yeah. It yeah. wasn't damaged to that level. It's, substanti it's substantially damaged, but I yeah. don't know if, because we usually are the ones buying out the properties. I right. don't know how we, I don't know how that would that work. That work. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it was, How are we gonna do that? That's all I got. What? Do it. Well, I mean, it's a, a bit after the fact. And yeah, like, but 
Tom has a memory like a steel trap. I mean, we just did the measurements. Just GPS Tom. We know memory. where they are. So we know where all the knew exactly where they were. Yeah. And all the measurements. It's just so. it's time consuming. Oh yeah. 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 And to not know it from the beginning, and you already went out, you know, in the beginning and, and documented. The, the fact that our PDMG changed, like, and there's a mm -hmm. lot of, we're, like, we're giving them a lot of the same information. We're having to spoon feed them new information or the same information again. Just because it's a new person. Yeah. yeah. So. It's. But it's still it's moving fun. forward. It's in still. Slow way. It's still so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're acting like you've never dealt with the federal government before. No, <laughs> no, I have. I, I no, I, I just reminds me of how fun they are to deal with. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, and, and some agencies more than others. <laughs> but you're gonna also understand, there's billions of dollars that are being thrown around. Uh, they got thrown around. Now they're trying to be. They're trying to make uh, people accountable for all the promises they made to them. Right. You know, the free money's gone. Now they want you to work for it. It's not right, but it's, it is. <laughs> Down. 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 I'm sorry. How would you like a five months old German Shepherd puppy, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like work. All right. Do you know, oh, you've got your next um, meeting of the Legion this weekend, right? Is that I do. Neighbor Chris, to neighbor. Yeah, Kristen is is stepping in for me on that one. Okay. Yeah. But there's still gonna there's mm -hmm. gonna be a okay. And that's Sunday. Sunday at <clears throat> four thirty. Don't miss it. Well, the first one was good. It's good. Be there. Good food. And then I'll be at the last one. I, I have a conflict. And the focus is on Macville. I'm not Bridge sure. Bridge Hill, Schmackville. This is the village one. Yeah. yeah, village. Okay. Yeah. The and center, the center swath so, yes. of Hardwick. Yeah. 25th is East Hardwick. Or east, east of the village of Hardwick. East of the village of Hardwick. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know cool. if you want to bring this up now or in new business, but the tax sale thing. Just give the heads up and we'll see uh, the engagement. Whatever. Yeah, we have. So Bill's no longer doing tax sales for any of the towns in the Northeast Kingdom. Hmm. Or outside the Northeast Kingdom, so. Period. Period. We do have another attorney, another mm -hmm. firm we're engaging with right now, which will likely. We're approve. not gonna do one in March because we only had like, I don't know, five that we're sending to tax and three water and sewer. They can wait until the fall because at this point, we were supposed to have it at the end of March, but we've sort of already missed that deadline because we, we found out like last week that he wasn't doing it anymore. And so, um, yeah, we found a new company and it works out great because a former employee of Davies Law now works for them and is very familiar with our tax sales and so it'll, it'll work out good. So we're gonna engage them for our fall and going forward. Okay. <coughs> Danny Mew. <laughs> uh, uh, Opie, do you want to say anything for either road foreman or police or anything? Okay. They're still doing their thing. There's a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any trucks broken, do we? No, I don't think so. Okay, just checking. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Tommy gives a report, it's funny how we ain't been doing nothing. And when Opie gives a report, oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Classic reports, boys. <laughs> we'll get one next time. Uh, we, know what uh, we, know what, we know what they're doing tomorrow morning. They're all ready. Yeah. All the trucks are loaded. Good. Yep. Uh, so moving along, Lynn Gedenkins here for Hardwick Electric Department report. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So uh, everyone should have received uh, a notice in the you know, electric bill that we have filed for a 1.97% rate increase that will take effect in March. Um, and that's always subject to PUC review and approval. Um, there is, though, a general provision that if you filed within a year, that you can then file again for up to 2%. So we're not anticipating an, an issue with that. Uh, the driver is inflation uh, and, and cost.
costs going up. Uh, in terms of Wolpit Hydro, all the material and equipment is now in the process of being repaired and replaced uh, to get Wolpit back online. Um, and the plan is to have it back online by the end of May, beginning of June. So that's progressing nicely. And uh, the team is working with, uh, with FEMA through their process. Um, but we still think that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that we will uh, get reimbursed at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later. But um, that's um, an ongoing thing. And once Wolf gets back online, um, that will help to stabilize, again, our costs. Um, although we're missing, we'll be missing probably a good chunk of the major hydro season in the spring um, when the river is high. So that's unfortunate, but it's, we're doing the best we can. Um, the statewide fiber build continues to roll out and we're working on setting new poles. We've brought in contractors to do that and working with, with the folks who are doing that. Uh, we're getting our year-end numbers and our purchase power cost uh, was $4.14 million, which was um, 27000 over budget, which is not hugely over budget, um, with a 92% coverage, which is a lower coverage than we were hoping to have. But, uh, price of power came down at times when we were short, so that's kind of why we parted it. So we, we wound up coming out reasonably okay. Uh, we're going to be looking at our, our 2024 budget um, at our meeting on Monday. Um, and we're looking probably at an increase in the range of 8%. Uh, that's uh, increased transmission costs, inflation, uh, We've had power contracts that expired. We have to enter into new contracts. Uh, those contracts are more expensive than what they were. Um, and the renewable energy standards affect what contracts we can enter into, which also uh, creates issues. We also have our union contract expiring in June. And so we'll be starting to negotiate that. And that's going to create, and the one thing, we haven't started negotiations, but we can assume that things are not going to go down, they will go up. So, um, so that's going to be another source of pressure. Um, in terms of reliability statistics, we have again the data for 2023. And our, um, we're supposed to have an outage duration of uh, no more than two, oh, sorry, I'm reading this incorrectly. We're supposed to have an outage frequency of no more than three and a half events per year per customer um, and uh, 2.4 hours duration per customer annually for outages and it may not seem this way when you're out of power but um, our, our outage frequency was 3.2 events so somewhat better than the standard that we were required to meet and um, if we had taken out some GMP failures, it would have been um, 1.8. So we're doing better than the standards. We always want to try and do better than, than that, but it, it is, um, we are meeting those targets. So that's the report. And then I just had a really quick question about the hydro work. Yeah. Um, are there plans to, is the part of the reason why I failed was there was just that huge mass of water that would through the windows, right? Yeah. Basically, or is the um, is that being raised at all, or is there anything being done to prevent that happening in the future? It, yeah, or? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, there were a couple of solutions that were being discussed, and as I sit here, I'm not, I'm not. One of the possible solutions was to get rid of the windows altogether. Mm -hmm. It's just to make it concrete, and I think that that's probably what's what's yeah. what's or being done. Or at least like on the river side or something. Yeah. 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 And that was, if, if you'd ever been by the structure, it's a pretty old structure. Yeah, it's um, beautiful. Um, but I, I don't think it'll, it's going to be raised, though. I, I don't I'm think sorry? It, I don't think the, the building can be moved. Oh, no, it's not. The building's not going to be moved. Right. The building is not going to be moved. Yeah, I mean, that would, yeah, you'd have to, the, the turbines right. in there, you'd have to be re So none of the elevations are going to change. Yeah. Okay. 
but this pot for potentially a solid wall, but and potentially a solid wall or, or, or some yeah. changing in, in, in other things. But yes, that is definitely something that, that we're looking at. And hopefully that's reimbursed too, or at least like support. Yeah, no, all of all we're, we're putting in for reimbursement for for everything, um, and uh, and at the same time trying to manage the costs. You know, it's which is and the numbers are coming in somewhat better than what we had thought they might be. So that's that's a good thing. So. Um. I had corresponded with you earlier today, I think, about um, your meeting on Monday. Yeah. I'm just wondering, um, so I know, and Mike has been good about including me on uh, the notices because I've been coming to the meetings for the last several months, but um, where do those warnings get posted? For our I board? would have to, they used to be, I mean, when, when I used to go to the <coughs> post office for my yeah. job, they were posted in the post office. Yeah. I'm not sure, and, and I think they, they might have been in the Gazette years ago, but I'm not sure. I, I'll have to ask. I'll have to ask. It's, it's, it's something we can talk about. I'm just curious how other people, if they're interested. And I know. think they're posted at the electric department. Okay. Um, but I, I honestly don't know and where all the, the places website, where it's too, posted. Right? And on the website. And on the website as yeah. well. And, and I did mention to Mike after I saw your email yeah. that you know, it still said five o'clock, and he said he, he, he didn't realize that it had. And I don't know if it's been changed yet. But it's I don't know. If it's been changed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just curious where. Do you know if they're put anywhere outside of Harvick? I don't. Okay. I don't know if they're put anywhere. It's just four places. Like, mm -hmm. By statute. Four places. Yeah. I'm sorry. Four places. Four places. Like we have, we do both post offices, East Hardwick and Hardwick. Here at the Memorial Building in the website. Right. I, th I think, though, the question is we serve outside of Hardwood, whether we need to post outside of Hardwood. I'm not sure that we do. You don't need to. I don't think. I don't think so that we. I don't think that we need to. And the uh, website goes outside Hardwood. One hopes. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about nice things in the Hardwood. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Any other questions for? I'm I'm curious. When the Jackson Bridge Dam mm -hmm. was built as a regulate to regulate the flow of the water to Potterville, that was the pitch. Um, in your experience, has it ever been used that way? I have no idea. I thought that I thought that that dam also that there was at one time a generator. Was never that was part of the pitch. I'm not sure it was ever installed, but the real the real driver behind it was. You're talking like a hundred years ago. A hundred and eight years ago. <laughs> 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 that wasn't far off. <laughs> Actually, it's more than that. It was 1911. Um, but the, but the whole rationale for building it was to control the flow of Alder Brook. Um, and the Loyal River so that Potterville didn't get these great gushes of water coming at it or no water at all. I have, I have no idea how, how, how the dam was used. So clearly it's not used that way today. Well, it is used by the Corps of Engineers for, for, for flood control. Flood activity. mitigation. For flood mitigation. That, I, that definitely was used for. But not for the electric. I don't think the other, I don't think the electric department is allowed to regulate uh, the yeah, I, I, for that I don't think, I, don't think, I, think I think the court has taken over on that, but it's definitely used with the ice flows in, in the winter and, and all of that. Um, when you go by the lake, I mean, you can see, this is not electric, this is just my observations, but driving up and down 14 or, or 15, and the, the water level is, is Let's come up some because we had that little bit of a thaw, but it, it was quite low for a while mm -hmm. uh, because it, it had been uh, water had been released. So, but I, I don't, I don't know all the history of it. Well, I wasn't asking about history. I was asking about is it being used that way? Today? No, we, no, it's we're not actively doing anything, right. to my knowledge, with with, with, with the dam. Okay. 
I, I mean, I think the only dam that is actively in use is in Wolka. Mm -hmm. That's the only generation that we have. And there, there are some little things at Caspian. We shouldn't forget <laughs> Caspian. Um, and, and, and I know there are maintenance issues that we, we've done and worked with there and worked with, with folks up in Greensboro. But, but um, yeah, the only electric generation is it, is it, uh, is it Wolka. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Lynn. Um, item one is look forward to review and sign the loan agreement for the feasibility study of the relocation of the wastewater plant. And it's a 100% forgivable loan, and this is something we really hope we can. So I did put it in the folder. Oh, it's in our folder? Yeah. I think it's in a big time package. It's in there. Oh, yeah. I did see it in the folder. And this is the same. We've talked about this. It's the same one. You signed a similar one of these recently for the water service and the lead service. Lead service and right. Lead service and right. right. Same right. idea. Same. Well, it's an identical document, but the kind of And who is the loan? Do we need an emotion to say who the loan agreement is with? Like the Vermont State Revolving Fund? Yeah. Just a motion to sign the loan agreement for this. He said we said. The Vermont State yeah. I uh, motion that we approve and sign the loan agreement with the Vermont State Revolving Fund loan RF one three sixty one point zero in the amount of forty seven thousand eight hundred dollars um, for the feasibility study of the re of the relocation of the wastewater plant. Excellent. Second. And uh, all the Chanelia are actually doing the work. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We, we have a signed engineering agreement we're done. Right. We're plugging away. They're on there. Yeah. Okay, good. Time is of the essence. They're doing this one, blood low and Johnson. Oh. And there are people waiting. Uh, any discussion about this? It's something we talked about a bunch. Uh, needs to happen, I think, yes. in my opinion. All right, so all in favor, um, please say aye. 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 And any opposed? I think that was everyone anyway. So was there a second on that? I didn't catch that. Sure. 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 And I'm, I'm having a weekly. Go ahead. You can do it. So I'll just give you an update. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just give you an update. We're having weekly task force meetings with the state of Vermont, um, Department of Environmental Conservation, about the wastewater plant. So this is an ongoing conversation. I um, had a meeting with the Secretary of the Agency of Natural Resources and the State Revolving Loan Fund through the Water Investment Division. So they are trying to put with these funding packages together to try to figure out how we're going to pay for a reconstruction. And I, am, I have been adamant and uh, firm on the fact that we cannot put the, rebu the rebuilding of the wastewater plant on the 800 repairs in town. That's going to be the case in like Ludlow yes. and Johnson too. Well, Ludlow has Okima, so they're a little different. Yeah. Okay. Johnson's very similar to Harvard. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a big investment, and yeah. it's not very clear yet where the money's going to come from. Although FEMA plays a big role in this, as long as things get done correctly. But this isn't going to come back on the repairs. It can't. Can I ask a question? So this first page is just signed by Eric. Correct. But these two, we need to sign both. That's correct. Okay. Yes, thank you. So you're continuing yeah. on an ongoing basis to push we, this we, issue we. forward. Yeah. Which is great because it means yeah. a big issue. I feel like a uh, broken record. Good. <laughs> Eventually, though, everyone will hear it. Or they'll turn the music down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's important stuff. You have to get it figured out so that our that, yeah so that we don't have a wastewater plant sitting in the in a hole. And, 
worlds. Yeah. Okay, are they pushing back at all? No, they're just they're up against their um, their budget constraints. I mean, you see what our our budget <coughs> has gone up. The state budget, their focus is on other. You know, they gotta. It's just That's things nice. are costing a lot of money, and I'm not USDA is not. Um, they're not as they don't seem like they're as. Uh, generous as they usually are. Mm -hmm. So they're very loan focused. Yeah. In a lot of in a lot of their what they do. Right. And for our situation, we we need more grant. So yeah. It's the loan focused. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks for your efforts on that. Um, Item two is look forward to consider approving a banner application for a wear for their fall craft fair and entertain a motion. Can I just say, yes. well, I can, I'll make the motion, but I'd love it if we could talk to it. This really is a sketch of it. It could be so much better. All right. The way that they've abbreviated is weird. Okay. Um, I'm like, sure they would. Too. Yeah. Feedback. Okay. Yeah. And don't they have the banner? I don't know. I, I mean, is this an already existing banner? I would so then so. it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. They're not having a reading. Because it's always yeah. the first Saturday. And then yellow with leaves on it with yeah. a full Okay, shape. as long as it's that existing one, fine. Yeah. It's just, this is weird. The way this is written out. Okay. I'll make sure they don't put the weird one up. Yeah. <laughs> Although I kind of like weird. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it makes it hard to read for even, you know, when you're going to it. But, Maybe they just have the same old banner and that's all good. So I think that we have the, it. Isn't it yellow with gold with like orange? Yeah, as long as it's the same old banner, yeah. That's fine. Let me pull a street view on the wall and see if you can see it. It's totally fine if they're not redoing it and making it weird. So are you making the motion to approve I am. It? Second. Can you just authorize me to sign it? And to offer it. Is that your motion, Jerry? To authorize? Authorize. The town manager to sign it. Okay. Town manager to approve that, that thing as long as it's. Yes. Right. Correct. Okay. Any other comments on that? We have a motion and then a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. Um, as everyone. Next is uh, Select Board uh, Business Manager Casey Rao will give the fiscal year 24 quarter two budget update. Uh, and that's through uh, the end of last year. I apologize, normally I would do it in January, it just kind of got away from me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I just need to pull I'm going to pull it up and put it on the screen. So looking through it in general, it looks like everything's on track. It's mm -hmm. interesting to see. Yeah, so. I'm going, yeah I'm working oh. on it. I just, okay. Sorry. So then yeah, you can see it. It's yeah, interesting to see the, the flood expenses where you have sorry, those. Seeing that too? He may have popped off for a bit. Okay. Um, okay. I like it's gone now. It's gone now? Because you shared the screen and you moved it off of that screen. Yeah, I've seen the agenda, is all I've seen. Um, well, if you open your Google folder, can you just open it? It's in there to look at it. But yeah. also in the yeah. recording, yeah. though, isn't it going to show what he's seeing or not? Yeah, I got it there. I'm good. Sure. It'll be in the minute, minutes attachments anyway. Okay. So, We're not yeah. recording this. Yeah, we don't oh. record on Zoom they because record. they're oh, recording. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. So, okay. Um, okay, so um, we are basically assuming we collect our expected tax revenues, we'd be around 56%. So we should be at 50%. So we're, we're on track. Um, and highway revenues slightly ahead of schedule. Um, grant revenue over budget, basically just due to municipal, the municipal planning grant that we have for the bylaw modernization. Um, other revenues over due to interest income, but just keep in mind some of that will be redistributed at the end of the year into water and sewer funds and such. But 
overall revenue really is in good good shape. We're in good shape. Any questions about that? These flood expenses, those are the town expenses that we do not will not get reimbursed for or um, okay. So we're in so we're, we're, we haven't ha we haven't hit expenses oh, yet. So yep, yeah, okay. So any questions on revenue before we move on to expenses? Okay. Okay. So I felt it was important to kind of separate out the flood expenses because they are showing this is this excludes sewer plan. This is the general fund yep. flood expenses, to just under three hundred seventy thousand. Um, so with that, we'd be at fifty eight percent. But without them, we'd be at forty eight point five, which is right on track. We should be at fifty. So, right. and we do assume that we will get one hundred percent of that back. We may have to sit on it for a bit, but ninety percent. Oh, 90, right. Hopefully 95. Well, yes, but, um, yeah, I guess if you, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so like 90, what is it, 90, 90%? With with these expenses, they're category B. Yeah. It's hopefully 90%, yeah. and then the, the state is determining whether they're going to do, they'll usually split the other five, so it'd be five and five, so we'll, re, we'll be responsible for 5% of that. Yeah, so... Um, the debris was going to be a hundred percent most of it, we believe. Yeah, but that was probably only like eighteen, twenty thousand. So, but yeah, so say ninety percent of that we'll get back. And the appropriations well. are low because they have to. Correct, and I've and since this report, I've probably paid out almost the rest of them because okay. I've been reaching out to people saying, "Get me an invoice, please, so we can." because I don't like to wait until May or June and be chasing right. people down for it. Um, I think some people just assume we send checks, but we don't because we need an invoice to pay an item. So um, I'm, I probably have one or two left. They've since been paid out uh, like in January and February. So, uh, But county taxes were a little less than expected, but I ex um, line items a little bit over. We're, we're okay. We're doing all right. So. Yeah. I think it was, yeah, like right on target, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, even considering the amount of flood expenses only being 8% over, even if we had those factored in, again, we'll, we'll get those back. We'll, we'll probably have to create a receivable at the end of the year um, to mm -hmm. zero that out or, or all but 90% of it because, yeah. It, cause it's, yeah, because it won't be reimbursed by the end of the year. Yeah, probably right? not be great I, I hope some of it is I just don't know how much depends on how the GPS coordinates come back yeah we we got um, <laughs> we have submitted for our debris which was like that's, 14 that's been, thousand and it should be deposited any day so that that's in this 369 so like 14 grand we've got so far that's the only obligated project yeah <laughs> yeah so but yeah it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that all looks any great. Any questions? Yeah. I just have a really quick sure. question about the that payment reimbursement. So that includes, like, just using the debris as an example, that includes, like, if we hired somebody to take debris out, if we used materials, but does that also include our town employees? A and category A and B projects include all of all of their time okay so then when we get that money back because we basically for overtime for all of that we basically took money out of our general fund right or whatever we needed we were able to cover somehow mm -hmm. so i guess my question is if they're the reimbursement for people's time which we've already paid those people for their time right where does that reimbursement are we planning on putting that somewhere in particular so we actually already overtime for our staff is already built into flood expenses right. because we knew we we're going to be able to expense that so that's in the flood expenses we just learned today that even though we were told it was going to only be overtime that we actually can do regular time so we'll have a lot of like the for those first three no weeks. no sorry for c category c project category c like yeah. the roads the roads the road stuff just that they the worked roads. on yeah like for the three or four weeks after the flood that we will be able to. So basically yeah. right now it's sitting in highway salaries. I'm gonna have to do some calculating to figure out 
all that and move it into flood expense and report it as all those hours as flood. So then it'll come off of highway base salary and be a flood reimbursable expense. But then so. that money that we eventually get, that 90% or whatever, yeah. that is going to be not expended again. So that's like, it's not going to be, you're like, how it'll we, help our fund balance right. because so we're going to not have it as a highway asking, expense. This is what I'm asking, like, would that go to like the highway fund balance? Like it should probably be allocated like to different areas or it's totally yeah. fund balance. Just fund balance. So just go to the fund balance. Or to capital. I mean, that was just my question. Like, does this just go, we basically yeah. get the reimbursement and we just like put it back. I know what you're saying. Took it from. It'll be general <laughs> funding code <laughs> because not revenue like when because we have all these expenses for flood and then when we get you know a fema reimbursement it's going to be a revenue and you have your net effect the expense correct yeah. the, the other one that i was thinking about recently is the, <coughs> the amount of material that we used from our pit we will be paid that'll be paid we'll be paid back for that right mm -hmm. what we decide to do with that we could potentially pay off part of the bond with no, that. No, we can't. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. There's no, you can't prepay it. Oh, I yeah, was thinking that's yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah. But if but, we, but if but like for blasting, mm -hmm. um, okay. for yeah. something, yeah, something to do with the gravel pit for sure. Maybe we could look at doing okay. something like that. Okay. For additional materials, but yeah, we can't prepay yeah. it. But we don't have anything back. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> okay. Um, Great. Right, and uh, the other thing to keep in mind, though, is like even if we're able to submit for expenses like regular payroll time and the gravel, the material, yeah, um, still we are going to be carrying five percent of this cost right. mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, speaking of gravel pit, sorry to go sideways on you. No, you're good. Um, uh, Gary. Nolan. Nolan. Still yeah. working on that? Yes. Okay, good. Um, he did have one sugar maker called me about how many taps that could be there, be up there. And did you share it? it? So that's a possible source of revenue for that. Possible, yeah. If we wanted to open that up. To lease. lease to lease for there. somebody to tap the trees, the maples. But I was wondering where are we with the um, blasting? I saw Gary at a basketball game yeah. about a month ago. I haven't talked to him since. Okay. New gym, because we want to get yeah. that to come through this while, summer. while the memory of mm -hmm. the flooding is still fresh. Right. Because we want the Act 50 process to be smooth. Yeah. Um, awesome. Thank you, Casey. So do you want a motion for approving this? We don't need it. This is just an update yeah. to keep us informed. Quarterly update. Okay. Great. It's part of part of their duties to update us. Um, next is item four, select board to consider approving the recommendation for a consultant for the East Hardwood Village Comprehensive Plan funded through a Better Connections grant. Uh, is this the only proposal we got? No, we got three other proposals, yep. so a total of four. Um, Tracy and I scored these, Kristen scored these. We had a meeting with the Better Connections folks, so. Uh, and NVDA, Annie and NVDA And too. Annie McLean from yes. NVDA. And we kind of all, they didn't, they tried not to sway us. They just gave us some information, but Kristen, um, Tracy and I all scored this, they scored the highest. And the reason why we picked this, these two, this consultant working with this group is because they had the strongest um, water and storm water, wastewater kind of infrastructure work. And we think that, I don't wanna, cause there's a, there's a whole process that that Better Connections has to go through to decide what they want to do, where they want to focus their their work. But I, I think this was the strongest um, consultant with a partner with Dufresne Group to provide the services that we think East Hartwick might mm -hmm. want and need. Um, so what's the recommendation of that, from that? 
Right. So, so SE Group was very focused on recreation mm -hmm. and wayfinding and, you know, all the, they had a very nice proposal. It looked really good, a lot of visuals, um, but it was very recreation oriented. Mm -hmm. um, Heather Carrington also submitted a um, proposal, which Heather is, does, she's doing the bylaw modernization. Mm -hmm. We've worked with Heather. Mm -hmm. She's working, with, you guys yeah, know she's Heather. She's work. great. Yeah. And she really scored high in the public engagement piece because she's good with public engagement. But she left it, with her proposal left it to the town to hire an additional consultant for the, the water part of that project. So these guys have everything, basically. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a huge part of that project. Right. Um, and I think their deliverables are going to be the most useful yeah. to go back out to, and to fund some of these, some of these improvements. The water system, the wastewater, potential wastewater planning, and definitely stormwater stuff. So we have to motion to approve them to be the consultant? Yeah. So I'd like to make the motion to, uh, so we're, hi just so I know, we're hiring them, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I'd like to make the motion to hire the Fairweather Consulting, did I get that right? Mm -hmm. Group um, for the East Hardwick Village Comprehensive Plan funded through the Better Connections Grant. And have the town manager and have us. the town manager authorized to sign, execute contract. Yeah, we'll, yeah. yeah. Second. Any more discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you for thank you. For this your, is an exciting project. Yeah. It's cool, and, and it's great that that you got. Yeah. It's great that you got a group that's. It kind of looks like they have the expertise to really yeah. provide and the technical reporting that you need. The Fairweather guy has worked in Cabot, Coventry, and West Burke. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. The other groups, not so much in small towns in northern Vermont. My only quick follow-up, just so folks listening know, is that the time their proposed timeline, maybe it'll change, but their proposed timeline is to complete it by next March. Yeah, it has to be. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's a year. Yeah. Because that's when the grant is due. So get ready to start. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to need a lot of community per mm -hmm. per precipitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, for the meeting on the 25th, we should bring these. Yeah. For folks coming to, yeah. to talk that's about these. Oh, that's a great. Yeah, I think I think Tracy planning on it. I'm sure she has. Yeah. We have these extra copies, so we should. We have just those two, but we can make some more. We we'll have take or take this one. And we have yeah. an electronic version, yeah. so we can. But those could go. I mean. Yeah, take yeah we read them. Yeah, uh, yeah so we'll take the we'll take yeah. those back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, those aren't take homes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for looking at. Don't touch. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> uh, Item five, select board to review and certify the certificate of project completion for the gravel pit bond and the 2021 fire truck bond. That one just got overlooked. Um, yeah. We're kind of, it's just clean up. It's just a simple thing saying it's all done, the money spent. Right. Um, that's, that's really right. all Right, and there are two of them, right? For yes, one yeah. for the gravel pit and one for the fire truck. So, so could we have a, a motion to, to say that the select board will uh, certify the um, project completion. So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, item six is uh, to appoint a new um, officer to the Hardwick Police Department. And it's Jason Schlesinger. Did I say that right? Yep. Um, so Jason is in between uh, jobs right now. And he is full time certified. Full time certified, um, level three. Uh, he works worked as a Vermont State Trooper for seven, 16 years, fourteen years, and he's going to come help us out uh, part time in between what he's got going on now. Uh, yeah. Somebody that you know, anyway. Yes, oh, I worked with him. That's 
often good to have connections like that. Yeah. So it sounds like it's sort of like a for now. It's a temp. It's, it's really a temp. temp role. Yeah. We're we're not. He's got something coming up next month, like full time. So this is okay. just kind of just for fun. He'll help us out. <laughs> yeah. That's what and that's what he wants us to. Do. He, he I met with him this week and he's like, well, I'll help you out as long as I can. Okay. So. Um, could we have a motion to appoint Jason Schlesinger as a PD officer? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, and that's everyone, so motion carries. Thank you for uh, continuing to bring people, you and Mike, uh, to the department. Next is select board reports. Um, I have a quick one. The Equity Committee um, has started a book group in partnership with the Judamai Library. Um, if anyone's interested, I don't think we've totally chosen a book yet. We're still in the process of figuring out the details. Um, but if anyone's interested in joining a book group, you can email me. There we go. Terry Cornish. On Tuesday night um, at the Cork and Fork, the downtown businesses and organizations are getting together. Uh, our downtown partnership is hosting a, a little get together to talk about what's going on downtown. So um, everybody's been invited, but I just wanted to say again that um, yeah. it should be kind of a, a nice little gathering of downtown groups. Is that the 20th? On the 20th from 5.30 to 6.30 at the Cork and Fork. There'll be snacks and the bar will be open. Open? The bar will be open. It'll be open? He's not yeah. No, not open, open, but okay. it'll be... Cash bar. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted you to try that. <laughs> <laughs> the organization, there the might be a line at the door. Everyone who's gotten this invitation, <laughs> which is all the businesses downtown, and organizations, they know that if they fill this thing out, they'll get one free drink. Ooh. Just saying. <laughs> so show up. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to report that the yellow the yellow barn project is under construction. Everybody's seen it. Um, a lot of windows. A lot of, a lot of people have commented on the enormity of the new metal building, um, and I do want to, I do want to say that um, there are, I believe, 51 windows going into that building. They just haven't been cut out yet. Uh, um, the holes haven't been cut out. And they're going on the buffalo mountain sideways. Right, and I think there still is room for a mural. Yeah. I would love a mural there. Yep, and we would love a mural there. So we might try to look at arts and infrastructure and see whether we can do, do it like a welcome like to Hardwick mural of some sort. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So the, the flip side of that is when you look at the library and see how small it is for the price. I agree. I looked at it today and I thought the same thing. That looks pretty small. <coughs> there are a lot of corners. Holy Jesus, that's a lot of money for not very much extra space. But anyway, it's moving forward. Yeah, it really is. <clears throat> I would like to announce that the Historical Society is having its annual meeting on May 13th, uh, 7 o'clock at the townhouse. And our speaker is a fellow by the name of Thomas Hubka, which you've probably never heard of. But he wrote a book called Big House, Little House, Back House, Barn, which about half the people I've mentioned it to have actually read. Um, it's about why New England developed this agricultural architecture of the, the, the big house, the little house, a bunch of sheds, all connected to the barn. Um, the easy answer is, well, it's warmer to go from the house to the barn if you can go through the sheds. It's a lot more complicated than that. And uh, if you've read the book, make a circle on your calendar for May 13th because the author's going to be here and you can ask him about it. May 13th at what time? 7 o'clock at the townhouse. Um, and this is my last select board meeting. 
crazy. Are you coming okay. to the special meeting on the 29th? I'm not special sure. meeting I on the 29th. Yeah. We'll special be. meeting on the 29th? Oh, good. <laughs> this is the last regular one. This is the last <laughs> yes, regular. Yes, last regular, yeah. It's just, it's been, I'm not good at this, but I cannot tell the people I've worked with how well I have enjoyed how much I've enjoyed working with you. So glad I talked to her and knew it all those years ago. <laughs> but I also want to assure the town of Hardwick that we are very well governed. Um, the town, of, the people of Hardwick pay their taxes. Uh, we do not carry a lot of debt except for big stuff. And the people who are working for the town of Hardwick, the people you mm -hmm. elect, the people that we have hired, are working for the town of Hardwick and for the people of Hardwick. There's no posturing, there's no politics, there's no games being played. Um, it's stunning to me how just consistently high energy and good everything is. There is a wonderful line in a movie, a fairly stupid movie, called uh, The Runaway Bride, <laughs> where a Radio announcer is interviewing somebody and he closes his broadcast by saying, may you have the good sense to live in a small town. And the people in Hardwick do have the good sense to live in a small town and it is a very well governed small town. Wow. Thank you, Liz. Yes. We have a little something for you. <laughs> I love the vase. <laughs> it's all about the vase. Thank you. I have the lid in my car. <laughs> I've got dozens of these things I need to get rid of. I don't think I'm going to be piano much anymore. And you still get to go to town meeting. I still yeah. get to go. To, but, you know, that, we're just sitting there as functionaries. Yeah, right. So I would like to make sure, uh, I know we all know, but not everybody knows, we did lose a, a great one this week with the passing of Lorraine. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I encourage everybody was, to read her obituary. It's wonderful. She was one of those people that, that hated to love me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, her, Allison was my age, so we, her daughter, her youngest daughter, so we grew up together. So um, <laughs> she's one of those people that I'll always remember for being brutally honest with me. She falls into the Teresa Frailer category. <laughs> she was another one. Um, Mothers, mothers back then, or mothers to the whole neighborhood. Uh, mothers, they were mothers to the town. Um, and uh, that's probably why society's the way it is nowadays, because we don't have that community anymore. So, they're going to be missed by a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope heaven is, is getting itself together, because she'll take care of it if it isn't. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's been, it's been my great honor and pleasure to do this for the last nine years, but I quit. <laughs> uh, on that note, do we have any new business or old business before we go to executive session? So we have a motion to go to executive session for 1 VSA 313 for a loan contract discussion to include town manager and business manager. So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Are we going downstairs? He, he only said aye, I think. He can stay. Aye. He can stay. He can stay? We can stay here? No, Dan. Yeah, we'll stay right. here. Yeah. We'll stay here. It's going to take like two it's, minutes. Yeah. So okay, can we we'll just, stay here. Maybe we could just ask the cameraman to step yes. out. It's going to be like two minutes, yep. um, literally two minutes. It's, it'll be very quick, and we'll exit. Great. Thank you. So, Danny, we came out of executive session, and uh, we thought we were going to be done, but Danny asked a, a very relevant question to this body, and that is, when does the Yellow Barn project pay back the um, money it borrowed from Hardwick's revolving loan fund and or the economic development loan fund and um, the answer is it'll be later this year so when the pro when the construction on the project ends the um, all the remaining debts going to get refinanced into one note with Vita and at that point um, 
Hardwick, the town of Hardwick will get paid back, and uh, we also have the project also has a loan to NBDA that will get paid, get paid back. And I do think there's one more loan that will get paid back, but I can't remember what it is. Um, but the, hard, the town of Hardwick remains the owner of that project uh, going forward. The property. The property. We are the owner of the property. We have a very long-term lease to a nonprofit that's running it. Also, the, the property is encumbered by some notices of federal interest that were filed um, by EDA and NBRC when we accepted federal funds. And I believe those run for 20 years where we uh, basically have promised that we're going to do what we said we were going to do, promote economic development in Hardwick with this project the way we said we would. So it's not something that we could just sell to the highest bidder, but it's something that, um, that helps the town. Um, it's going to make pilot payments. Um, it's going to provide a bunch of jobs and economic activity. So that's a long answer to your question. Well, no, it's structured so that it always, the property would be owned by the town, but it will always remain in the, you know, in, in a useful manner. Exactly. Like, back of public, whatever. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an asset that, it's like a boil. Okay. Kind of like light crap. Any, any other nuggets for us tonight, Danny? <laughs> no, I have no problem. <laughs> Anybody else? So the economic development loan fund yes. is relatively healthy and hopefully we're gonna because we do have some vacancies downtown. So hopefully there are some folks who are writing business plans and making um, having good ideas for our downtown. Point of that fund is to help spur economic development downtown. So that's yeah. If people have have uh, business plans and they need uh, yeah, lo lo loans on a good term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it just downtown? I don't remember. Yeah, if somebody wanted to, it's just hard to store no, to be hard, but could have been. Right. Right. You don't need a brick. You don't need a brick and mortar. In downtown, right? The main no, focus not is necessarily the main focus is jobs and economic development. Job, yeah. Right. There's also I think there's also a category specifically for um, renovating old buildings. Right. Facade. Facade. Yeah. Facade. And downtown yeah. facade. Yeah. And what's the cap? We don't have one. Fifty thousand. Oh, on on well, I don't know about for real estate. That's mm -hmm. that's for like business property is for the housing we have a loan of fifty yes. thousand to anyone. Right. And we because we want to continue to right. roll it over. But historically it's fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and our rate is tied to it's, it's prime minus one. Prime minus so one. it's not great right now. It's like no, seven but things point are coming seven five. Down right? Yeah, it it would be seven point seven five. Right. Yeah. Prime rate's like eight and a quarter right now, or eight yeah. and three quarters, I think. But you know, you gotta yeah. take your time and write that good business plan, <laughs> so maybe it'll be down by the time. I know one, I know of a business plan being written right I now. I do too. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, that money doesn't promote economic development very much when it's sitting in a bank account. It needs right. to be out working in the community. Okay, anything else? Uh, let's, I adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Good night, Annie. Good night. 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 Good night.